Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Get ready, because today we are diving deep into one of the most iconic and landscape-shifting storylines in manga history, the legendary Marineford War Saga from the hit series One Piece. Now I'm sure many of you are already massive One Piece fans, in which case you know exactly why this arc is so monumental. But for anyone new to the story, take my word that Marineford delivers one of the most masterfully executed narrative gut punches of all time. Over a decade's worth of world building and endearing character development gets turned upside down across these chapters. Seriously, I still remember watching these episodes for the first time years ago and having my jaw on the floor from start to finish. It represents a peak fiction moment that also reverberates through the rest of the story going forward, totally blew my mind and cemented One Piece as one of the greats. In this video, we'll break down exactly why this iconic storyline shocked veteran fans and cemented Eiichiro Oda's credentials as an all-time master storyteller. We'll cover things like the genius way Oda carefully sets the stage over 500 chapters for maximum emotional impact. All the elements of Luffy's character that get completely flipped on their head. The heart-wrenching defeat that shattered fandom expectations. How failure only further fires Luffy's dedication to his quest. The rich themes Oda packs into this saga and how they shape the courses of major characters. Why Marineford is such a perfectly constructed climax to Act One of One Piece. And more! It's a heavy topic covering some extremely hard-hitting moments, but also one of the most compelling narratives I've ever come across in fiction. If you thought Game of Thrones delivered big shocks that redefined its story, just wait until you fully grasp everything Oda pulls off here. So, grab some tissues, maybe pour one out for the homie ace, and let's get into this monumental saga. The channel has covered some legendary manga arcs before, but I have to say, my mind is still routinely blown thinking back on Marineford. Strap in for a wild ride. If you like our content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Let us know what your thoughts on the Marineford arc are and where you think the story will head going forward. With all of that out of the way, let's move on to the actual meat of this video. The Marineford War, Oda's narrative masterpiece. In the decades-long storytelling epic that is One Piece, the Marineford arc stands out as one of the greatest narratives in manga history. This storyline represents the culmination of over 500 chapters of careful plotting, world-building and character development by author Eiichiro Oda, resulting in a devastating and unforgettable climax. Marineford flips the entire script on what we thought the central formula of One Piece was, all in service of delivering an intensely emotional gut punch, as well as setting up monumental themes. The genius long game set up, up until Marineford, much of One Piece followed a predictable pattern. The Straw Hat Pirates would arrive on an island where the citizens were oppressed by some overpowered tyrant that no one could defeat. And against all odds, Luffy would somehow always find a way to tap into some reserve of concealed strength or stubborn tenacity, defeating that supposedly unbeatable foe to liberate the island. This happened over and over and over again. Alabasta, Skypiea, Eni's Lobby, you name it. Through these wins, Luffy established himself as a miracle man, a heroic savior capable of achieving the impossible through sheer force of will. He does not waver, he does not lose hope, he does not question himself, and in turn, neither did we as the audience. 500 chapters conditioned us to have absolute faith in Luffy. Meanwhile, the series also introduces previous contenders for the title of Pirate King, fearsome figures like Crocodile and Gecko Moria, who also aimed to conquer the Grand Line. While formidable in their own right, these pirates failed where Luffy succeeded because they lacked meaningful bonds. 
they warn Luffy of nightmares that await rookie pirates, failing to understand what allowed him to overcome his own obstacles. All of this combined narrative momentum led to a protagonist who felt invincible, which is what made his eventual failure hit so much harder. Shattering Perceptions at Marineford Marineford represents the turning point, the moment when Luffy's winning formula is shattered before his eyes. He starts by suffering crushing defeats at the hands of Bartholomew Kuma and Kizaru, forcing him to realize even his crew is not safe. This foreshadows the failures still to come. In his quest to rescue Ace from execution, Luffy undergoes a gauntlet of suffering unprecedented in the series so far. He storms the inescapable prison impel down, pushing his rubber body past its limits just to have Ace slip through his fingers. He recklessly throws himself into a colossum death match between Titans Whitebeard and Sengoku, pathetically struggling to even approach the platform to save his brother. For all the mythic deeds accomplished earlier in his adventures, Luffy has never had to fight so desperately purely for personal reasons rather than coming to the aid of others. And even when tapped into that deep well of willpower that allowed him to conquer impossible odds before, he still fails when it matters most. In that heartbreaking moment when Akainu extinguishes Ace's life right in front of Luffy, despite all his sacrifice and effort, both the character and the audience have their unshakable faith shattered. We reel back, stunned as this miracle worker Luffy helplessly screams in disbelief. For all his refusal to adhere to others' rules and expectations, reality came crashing down. When his last vestiges of strength give out, Luffy's spirit breaks completely. Doubt takes root where once limitless self-confidence stood. His guiding torchlight of hope, his brother Ace, has been extinguished, leaving Luffy adrift and directionless. This crushing defeat flips the entire narrative on its head. 500 chapters of a man who could achieve anything denied at the very brink of victory. The will to start over. While devastating, Marineford serves as more than just an unexpected gut punch. This failure establishes vital themes and transforms the trajectory of Luffy's entire quest. Throughout this saga, we learn that having strong bonds with others provides a vital source of strength. Lacking this, formidable figures like Crocodile ultimately failed in their journeys. We see this emphasized through characters like Ace and Whitebeard, whose intertwined tales showcase how vital it is to not feel alone and have others to rely on. In lockstep with this theme is the exploration of freedom in the One Piece world. When Luffy's existing prodigious strength fails him, he learns freedom means having enough power to prevent anything precious being taken away against one's will. It is the ability to protect what one cares about most, tragically, the very thing Luffy fails at in losing Ace. Blackbeard serves as a shadowy reflection to Luffy's character. While Luffy dreamed of becoming Pirate King by conquering the Grand Line, to usher in an era of freedom and adventure, Blackbeard seeks the same goal for less noble reasons, to satisfy his own wild ambition. Earlier arcs may have lulled readers into forgetting the ominous figures like Blackbeard lurking in the background, but Marineford brings these threats into the spotlight to devastating results. Thus Marineford serves not just to break Luffy's spirit, but to establish the true coordinates for the rest of his journey. It signifies the end of his first phase of naive innocence as a wide-eyed rookie and the start of a more seasoned warrior ready to sacrifice everything needed to achieve his dream this time around. When he sets sail following two years of intense training, Luffy steps back onto his quest as a fundamentally changed man. The stage has also been set for the broader world around him. The defeat of the beloved Whitebeard splinters the existing balance between chaotic pirates and an orderly world government, 
allowing demonic forces like Blackbeard to thrive in the shadows. Like smothering a bright flame, Marineford plunges the world into darkness, but not extinguishing hope entirely. The sun will rise again. Marineford devastates characters and audiences alike through its brutal subversion of expectations, but Oda's masterful storytelling works precisely because of everything he did leading up to this arc. 500 chapters of watching Luffy soar creates that much farther to fall when his wings finally get clipped. Yet the themes explored give deeper meaning to this failure as set up for his next evolution. Luffy does eventually rise again, now chastened by harsh reality, but maintaining that ironclad willpower that pushes him forward no matter what. The same spirit that led him to overcome so much before now steals him for the even greater enemies and obstacles awaiting in the new world. Likewise, while this loss may have plunged the world into darkness, Oda holds forth the hope that the light of dawn will come again someday. In many aspects then, Marineford represents a completion of everything developed in the first half of One Piece. It closes the curtain on the first act with unexpected cruelty and finality while establishing the stakes going forward. 500 chapters of clever narrative build-up allowed Oda to pull off a story arc unmatched in its ability to stun readers, establish compelling themes, upend assumptions, and set courses for the rest of the epic still to unfold. In all those respects and more, the Marineford saga stands tall as one of the all-time greatest storylines in manga and comics history. And that brings us to the end of this monumental saga. I don't know about you all, but I'm still reeling from going through all that again. To recap, we covered how Oda masterfully sets the stage for over 500 chapters, lulling us into a false sense of security by establishing Luffy as an unstoppable fighter. Then, when he finally takes it all away in Marineford's brutal defeats, it guts both the characters and the audience. Yet at the same time, introducing ideas like the dawn of the world in this arc also recontextualize the entire One Piece story so far. And as always with Oda's storytelling, the pain is never random, but rather in service of setting up the next leg in Luffy's iconic hero's journey. In the end, the takeaway is that Marineford represents fiction writing at its finest. Very few other manga creators can match Oda's prowess when it comes to meticulously structured long-form plot progression. I'd easily rank this saga up there with the best from the likes of Togashi, Miura, Inoue, Legends of the Medium. Hopefully going through Marineford with me has you marveling at Oda's skills just as much. It's honestly inspiring to see the way great fiction impacts hearts and minds across so many fans. We truly hope that you have enjoyed this deep analysis of the legendary Marineford arc in One Piece, and we would like to humbly thank you for watching all the way until the end. If you have enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe so you never miss another of our exciting uploads and make sure to hit the bell too so YouTube doesn't forget to notify you of our next exciting upload. Thanks again and have an amazing rest of your day. Keep the wind at your backs and may all your dreams come true, pirate friends. Until next time, goodbye.